Hi, my name is Cynthia, and, and this is my top 10 tips. Today's topic is going to be custody factors. This is a continuing video concerning a case that's used in Michigan for custody matters called Vodvarka versus Grassmeyer. V-O-D-V-A-R-K-A versus Grassmeyer, G-R-A-S-S-M-E-Y, E-R. In Michigan, this is a major case that the judges look at in a custody battle, and it has factors set out very clearly that they expect the attorneys to set out a brief pointing out the issues in favor of their client or against their client. And uh, what I want you to do is to do what's called a T, T on your page on paper, and I want you to put P and D on the top, plaintiff and defendant, I know which one you are. And I want you to go A, B, C, and D and all the way down the side. And as we're going through all these factors, I want you to put a check or an X according to who you think wins that argument. And maybe if both sides will have a check, maybe both sides will have an X. Or both sides you don't know, so I'll leave it blank. At the end, you can add all the factors up to see who wins that argument. Now, of course, you might be biased on your side, but uh, you talk to other people about it, too, to see what other people think about that, too. But it'll kind of give you an idea who's going to win this battle down the road. And what this ensues is a full-blown hearing in front of the judge, and witnesses take the stand and testify, and you're going to need some people lined up down the road. So start talking to people right now about who you want to testify on different factors here or against the other party on different factors. Okay, let's get going here. This is going to be a shorter video because there's only two really left here. K, domestic violence regarding whether the violence was directed against or witnessed by the child. This can be violence between you and your spouse. This can be violence where the spouse hits the child. This can be violence where you hit the child. And uh, the child doesn't have to be there though. Uh, so if there's domestic violence in your case, this is an issue for sure to be taken up by the judge. I've talked about domestic violence at the very beginning of my videos and domestic violence is something that you should get out of the house for sure if that's going on. Don't be around the other party and for sure get the kids out of that situation. Uh, you don't want the children to be involved in being hit and beaten by the other party. And if you're the party doing the beating, the other party is going to probably want to be doing that, so be careful. And if there is domestic violence going on, be sure that you have some kind of evidence to prove that that's going on and by that hopefully if you have black eye broken arm broken leg or the kids have any kind of hurt have been hurt in any way that you've taken them to a doctor the doctor can verify that those things did happen or if there are bruises on their body take pictures of them and of yourself so you can verify that you just didn't do that to yourself. And you don't want this to be something that just comes up all of a sudden after you filed for custody or filed for divorce. You want these things to be going on. Well, I don't really want you to be involved in domestic violence for any point of view, but if it has been going on before you filed, you want to have evidence that it did happen before you filed. So. If you have bruises, hopefully you've talked to very good friends yourself, your parents, or again, doctors, about and show them the bruises so that down the road you can verify it with a medical record where the doctors put that in the record. And uh, same thing with a hospital. Now, if you go to a hospital, ER or something like that, they might report those things to the police anyways. Uh, and but maybe you've lied to him, said you fell and hurt yourself. Uh, 
you might have evidence in the record that you were injured, but to try and prove that that actually happened by the other party down the road, you'll have a problem. But right now, if the child has witnessed anything, a guardian ad litem, somebody that, a third party that is being appointed by the court to investigate some of these issues, will talk to the child about it and the child will probably eventually talk and let them know about who's doing the violence. I had a case where it was my client doing it and I, she was telling me the opposite, the other side was doing it. And the child was talking to a psychologist and at the hearing it came out and I was surprised to learn it was my own client that was doing it. And eventually she did lose custody of the children because of that. Maybe if she would have been honest with me at the beginning and we could have addressed it by going to psychologists and gotten that straightened out, she might still be having the children with her, but she didn't do that. So you have to be honest with yourself about this issue too. Last factor is any other factors considered by the court to be relevant to the particular custody issue. It's kind of hard to come up with things like that that might not already been it talked about in these previous factors, but one I can think of right off the top is whether the other party has like a boyfriend or girlfriend uh, that is involved in this, that is not a good, not a good addition to the family unit. Besides what's pointed out in a previous factor, there's a, talks about other things kind of along that same line, but you can dwell on this a little bit more. Maybe that other party, uh, boyfriend or girlfriend, has taken over your place and you don't like that and it, it's not right. You should not take walk into your steps of your shoes. However, if you're not doing what you should be doing, somebody needs to do that. So you got to be careful what's going on. Now you might say the same thing about you if you got a boyfriend or uh, a girlfriend if you're a man. I always tell my clients I would not get involved with any new relationships during this if you can avoid it. First of all, your emotional status is way low so that somebody comes into your life you, and they give you any kind of attention, you're going to be drawn to them and thinking that you're more in love with them than you really are because you're just at a weak point. But if you really have to have somebody in your life, then be careful who you bring in because that person will affect, maybe affect your custody battle down the road. So be careful in this regard. And uh, again, uh, in my previous videos I pointed out I'm not giving you legal advice. This is my personal opinion. After 25 years of working in divorce and custody matters, I don't have a license anymore so you can't take my advice. And another issue is, this is Michigan law that I'm talking about in the past, that Michigan law has this case, I should say. And uh, if you have, not in Michigan, every state has different cases that they like to follow. And Michigan has specific issues here uh, that your state might not even have, or your state might even have different issues. So be sure and talk to a lawyer if you haven't filed yet, call a lawyer on the phone and ask him to give you a case that you can look up. And you can look that up on the internet yourself and see what your state looks at and whether the uh, issues are anywhere close to what ours are. And they'll help you down the road so you can prepare for a full-blown custody battle because it's not fun and it's going to take a lot of money. But if it's something you need to be done, do it and do it as soon as possible. Hope you got something out of this. Give my video a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to my channel. I usually download something every Monday. Uh, I'm going to be doing um, a lot of different topics. I try to stay on in this issue for a little bit. And then I'll go on to other topics. But come back and visit me. Hopefully you got something out of this. Have a good day now.